In this lesson, we're going to discuss a uh, trip and roll scenario. Here we have a Google Earth aerial photo already loaded and scaled using the scale tool, which was demonstrated in a prior lesson. So let's go ahead and bring in a van. So here we have our van. This van's going to drive on an interstate and make an aggressive lane change maneuver, overcorrect, and trip and roll. A very common uh, situation, especially with vans. Um, so first let's talk a little bit about steering and the steering controls in the virtual crash system. Let me give the van an initial I'm going to give him a, a slow initial speed just so I could talk a little bit about steering controls. Okay, I'm going to change the view type to contour so that we can see the wheels a little better. Here we can see these little black shapes here representing the uh, tires. And if we find the sequences controls here, it'll show us all the um, the timings for the various types of controls that we can use in virtual crash to steer, accelerate, and brake the van. So if we go to select, move, and manipulate, we'll bring up these sets of icons and this grip right here is a steering icon and you can move it side to side and you'll note that as you move it side to side over here to your left the dialog will show updated steering angles and steer times in real time. So you sweep it side to side you see those numbers update. The length of the line connecting to the icon will dictate the amount of time over which the steering angle is um, input to the vehicle model. The virtual crash system will interpolate between steer angles that are input over the time in which the user inputs the maximum steer to occur. And again, that time is that time interval is determined by the length of the line connecting this icon to the V naught icon, or it can be just be input here in the dialog. And if we slow down our playback, and let's say. that our steering angle is negative 30 degrees and that's to occur over a half of a second. You'll notice as we uh, scroll through the time slider that the wheels will go from 0 to 30 degrees which is the maximum over an interval of a half a second, just as you would expect. If we increase that interval to one second, then that will take one second to reach the maximum steer angle at the wheels of 30 degrees. Again, that's the angle as defined at the wheels.
Okay. And we can remove the sequence, any of the sequences, simply by highlighting the particular sequence and just clicking on remove sequence. And you'll notice the vehicle goes down the, straight down the road again. The steering input was removed. Now let's suppose that there is a vehicle at rest on the interstate. And I don't know, maybe he's... Uh, the driver is changing his tire or something, and for some reason he made the poor, poor decision to stop right in the middle of the inside lane and uh, change his tire. And our van driver is uh, making a sandwich or texting or, or something like that and doesn't see the Cadillac until impending impact and makes an abrupt lane change. First let's increase the initial speed to highway speed. Let's move him back. make sure I have there we go so he changes lanes he starts to lose control he steers back the other direction and he gets sideways. Now he doesn't trip and roll yet because uh, of course whether or not a uh, vehicle will trip and roll is dependent on the vehicle's track width, the uh, coefficient of friction, or lateral tire forces that are built up as the vehicle gets sideways as well as the CG height of the vehicle. So Let's let's give this van some cargo. On its roof. just to shift its center of gravity in Z up to compromise its uh, stability. So once the CG of the van has been shifted high enough due to the cargo on its roof, we can see that the stability is compromised and it enters a trip and roll. And of course, as you adjust any of the parameters of the simulation, the virtual crash system will update in real time.
Now we can place a camera in motion to run alongside the van if that's something we are interested in doing. Like so. Um, here's one way to do it. Let's just take a dummy vehicle. Let's make another Cadillac. And let's have it run alongside the van. And it's not there to participate in the accident. It's just there to attach a camera to. And what we'll do is we'll have it decelerating at the average rate of the van. Let's go ahead and create a camera and we'll place the target on the van and attach the camera to move along with our dummy vehicle. And we can adjust the position of the target a little bit so that's inside of the van. And um, we can adjust the position of the camera with respect to the dummy vehicle that we attached it to. And we get a nice little preview of what the camera will see. Maybe we want our dummy vehicle taking a slightly curved path. We can assign the camera view to our to the maximum window by using the assign to view button. And then again that'll give us a preview of what the camera sees. There we have it. A lane change maneuver leading to a yaw, trip, and roll using the virtual crash system. Thanks for watching.